Volunteers in the besieged city of Chernihiv in northern Ukraine are working to find new ways to get supplies in and people out after an airstrike that destroyed a bridge crucial for bringing in food and aid. Key points. A bridge in Chernihiv that was a key route for food and aid has been aired. A bridge in Chernihiv that was a key route for food and aid has been aired an official says a humanitarian catastrophe is now unfolding there. An official says a humanitarian catastrophe is now unfolding their residents say they have been forced to ration water supplies. The city is without running water, electricity or gas and residents have been forced to ration water supplies since the aid and evacuation corridor was destroyed on Wednesday. A local government official in Chernihiv, Alexander Lomako, said a humanitarian catastrophe was unfolding as Russian forces targeted food storage sites. Humanitarian help, medicines and food used to be delivered into the city via this bridge, he told the Associated Press in an audio message. Loading. He estimated that more than 130,000 people were left in the city out of a pre-war population of 285,000, but said Ukraine remained in full control. Chernihiv is under total control of Ukrainian army. Ukrainian flag waves here, he said. Those in Chernihiv say rationing of the city has been relentless and civilians are being targeted. No one wants to give up. Dmitry Blosh, 29, is deputy chairman of the Chernihiv Regional Council and has been volunteering alongside others to help those who remain to access supplies and evacuate the city. But that stopped now the bridge has been destroyed, he said. The situation is extremely difficult, but we are holding on. So now we are working on how to reconnect and find a new way out of Chernihiv. There is one more way out, but on foot and it's risky. It is closed due to constant shelling. But we find ways. Denis Yarish, Maria Hrytsyk, and Dmitro Blosh volunteer in the besieged city of Chernihiv. In the meantime, he said, volunteers continued to prepare meals for the city's defenders and most vulnerable, including for those in shelters. For residents, it is targeted assistance, food and medicine for the disabled, the older generation, bedridden and women with children, he said. He said the support from a US-based Ukrainian woman, Tatiana Turksuho, in raising money for Chernihiv, her home city, had helped efforts on the ground. Volunteers in a Chernihiv work to ensure those in shelters have food and water. People are tired, exhausted, but no one wants to give up, he said. Everyone understands that we are defending. Everyone hopes that Ukraine will be supported by Western partners and will close the sky. Hot meals prepared for Chernihiv's defenders with a message saying glory to Ukraine on the lids. Chernihiv is an ancient city northeast of Kiev on the Jusna River and is known for its historical architecture. Chernihiv is more than 1,300 years old, Mr. Blosh said. Mr. Blosh said there was a saying, when in Chernihiv the domes of the temples were already standing, in Moscow the frogs were still croaking. City Ed Day and Night Yuri Polyanitsia, 30, also assists with evacuations in Chernihiv. He said people were now being evacuated by boat on the Jisna River to Kiev, but the process was very slow. This is not a war or a military operation. It's a set of war crimes, he said. They're keeping all the time, day and night, they basically just drop S everywhere. Mr. Polyanitsia is helping people evacuate Chernihiv by boat, after Russian forces destroyed a crucial bridge. The ing of the bridge marked one month since Russian forces invaded Ukraine, during which time Chernihiv has been consistently targeted by airstrikes and fighting. CNN reported that a video from Chernihiv's Mayor Vladislav Atrashenko showed badly damaged buildings and rubble-strewn streets, while still burning fires filled the air with heavy smoke. Helen Lysenko, now in Germany, built her life in Chernihiv but fled Ukraine with her children and animals still in their pajamas once the war broke out. Right now Chernihiv is collapsed. They have very hard and serious humanitarian issues, the 32-year-old said. They hospitals, kindergartens, schools, volunteer centers, 
and people are not able to leave because they mine roads. I would also like to say, Ukraine has never been as united as it is right now. Chernihiv's buildings have been severely damaged by shelling. Ukraine's armed forces chief of staff said on Thursday Russia was still trying to resume offensives to claim the cities of Kiev, Chernihiv, Sumy, Mariupol and Kharkiv. The ABC's Barbara Miller said there were fears Chernihiv could become the new Mariupol. Mariupol is a port city in the country's east that was decimated by relentless attacks by Russian forces, leaving civilians trapped without water or food. Our children are dying. Katerina Mitkovich, 39, who arrived in Poland after fleeing Chernihiv, wiped away tears as she described how entire neighborhoods had been destroyed. I don't understand why we have such a curse, she said. She said her family was trapped in Chernihiv for three weeks and hoped the war would pass it by. Then, S began to fall. Our children are dying, she said. My son had to stay in Chernihiv. I could only take my daughter with me. It hurts a lot. About half of Chernihiv's population has fled the city. Volodymyr Fedorovich, 77, also fled Chernihiv. There was nothing, there wasn't even bread, he said. Mr. Fedorovich said bread was brought in every three days, and on one day, he walked away from the bread line to get some tea when a fell without warning. M to mute, left and right arrows to seek, up and down arrows for volume. Watch 1 minute 40 seconds 1 minute and 40 seconds dashcam, footage captures the moment an air strike hit a residential apartment in Chernihiv. 16 people and 47 were taken by ambulance, some of them without arms and legs. Horrible, he said. There were 100 people in that queue. Ukrainian officials have said that 10 people were in an of a bread line last week. Loading. The mayor said the northern Ukrainian city's cemetery could not handle all the as the Russian onslaught took its toll on the civilian population. The city cemetery cannot handle all the so we are keeping people in morgues and refrigerators longer than normal. We are located right now in the zone of combat. M to mute, left and right arrows to seek, up and down arrows for volume. Watch 2 minutes 20 seconds 2 minutes and 20 seconds behind the lens of the devastating images from the war in Ukraine. ABC or wires.